We're all checked in. It's four in the morning. My little buddy's doing okay. <coughs> He's doing okay. He's got some oxygen. I'll explain. I'll explain when I know more. But he is getting some oxygen. And he's tired. Oh, but. So until we know more. Quick update. Did we just take some pictures, bud? Yeah, huh? Do you want to show us what you have on your shirt? What did they give you? Avengers stickers. Some Avenger stickers? You look so awesome, bud. So awesome, huh? Took him back to get chest x-rays, and we're just waiting to hear on that, waiting to hear on, on the test that they did. They're checking for COVID, RSV, pneumonia, things like that, influenza. So we're just in here waiting. stages of it, so it's going to be all right. feeling still giving a thumbs up the problem is his oxygen levels keep going down way below 90 it got down to 82 at one point they're listening to his lungs he still sounds okay but they're gonna do a full panel check for any other viruses they already checked for COVID RSV and influenza and those those came back negative but he's on what's called it's three liters of oxygen already that's really high. And right now his oxygen is at 86. What I'm getting at is that we might, might be heading down to a different hospital, to Primary Children's Hospital. When you flew the airplane, that's where we went on an airplane ride. Should be okay. Should be good, huh, bud? Yeah, we're gonna be awesome.
was held downstairs at the ER for a little while until they could get him a room up here, which is just incredible. I'm so, so thankful that they even have rooms with this technology and everything here, just the staff, the doctors, the nurses, so incredibly thankful. Because if it wasn't for this, I don't even like finishing those sentences, but he's doing good. He's doing better. He had a rough night, like I said. He, it's like he was even having some panic attacks. He would get to a point where he's coughing really hard, incessantly, like he can't stop coughing to the point that he almost throws up. He almost gags and throws up. And, and he's done that before, especially with his trachea malacia, you know, with what he was born with. And he just, it's almost like he was in between this place of, you know, being awake and asleep at the same time because he's so exhausted, overly exhausted. And we, and he, he went to bed at a decent hour, but with his coughing, he just didn't sleep very good last night. And then waking up at 3.30 in the morning and being poked and prodded and tested and you know it's a good thing I'm not complaining but he just didn't rest much today so I'm gonna call it uh call it quits for the night as well that's my it's my little bed over there my little couch that I'm very thankful for just thankful to be here I had thought that I kind of leave a hospital thinking you never want to go back but when we got here I had such a sense of relief that here we are and he's going to be well taken care of and I know he is he is well taken care of I feel so bad for Bree she's in Cincinnati the kids were scared they didn't know everything that was going on it all just I was gone I had to leave at 3.30 in the morning and then just call the kids and let them know what's happening as far as their games and grandma and grandpa, grandmas and grandpas came in and helped. Just, uh, just very thankful for good people in our lives. Because they help the greatest blessings in our lives. Thankful to all of you for caring, your support as always. We haven't been the best this year at sharing our lives, but a big part of that is just <clears throat> we've been, things have changed a little bit and we've been really busy with these guys, but it's not because we don't want to. So here we are. We want to share because we're grateful. We're grateful for people that care. Grateful for you. There's plenty more to say, but we'll save some of that for tomorrow. I'm running on three hours of sleep myself, so probably better get some rest before they come back in and do some more tests. But he's looking good. This is the highest his oxygen has been all day. It's at 97. It never got up past like 94, 95. Once it got down to 82, that scared me to death. Scared the doctors. You can see it in their faces. He's doing good. Let's go say goodnight to him.